Jane's addiction concert ends after Perry Farrell punches guitarist Dave Navarro. Jane's addiction recently reunited, and getting the band back together took a shocking turn Friday. According to concert footage shared by fans, the band's concert in Boston was halted and came to a surprising end when Perry Farrell punched guitarist Dave Navarro. Farrell was restrained by crew members and a man who appeared to be bassist Eric Avery as he threw punches and was pulled away from Navarro. Jane's Addiction is currently on a reunion tour with their four original members, which delighted fans amid their return. The band was also slated to play in Bridgeport, Connecticut on Sunday. Brian McKenzie, a photographer, spoke out about the incident. I was shooting the show for the venue. That clip really has everything notable that happened on stage. Perry had a huge bottle of wine with him all evening. Navarro and Avery kept chatting with each other the whole show and seemed angrier than normal. Mackenzie added that the crowd thought the band members were joking, writing, Everyone, us included, thought it was a bit. A weird one, but, like, he was almost encore time and it seemed like one way to have the band leave the stage, only to return to thunderous applause. But, two minutes later, house lights and walkout music and show was over. In 2022, Farrell spoke kindly of Navarro, who was battling long COVID and could not tour with the band, to the New York Post. I wish I would have my dear guitar player around, he told the outlet, but I live to bring entertainment and art to the world. And whatever I can do to entertain you, to blow your mind, that's what I live for. Pharrell is central to a Buzzy Summons documentary that premiered earlier this year about Chicago music festival Lollapalooza aptly called Lala. He is the main voice of the three-episode doc, which is streaming now on Paramount+. The film details how Lollapalooza helped break bands like Nine Inch Nails. Trent Reznor shares a great story about their first set, Pearl Jam and Green Day, but also became a symbol for selling out.